Hi everybody, welcome to My Pods with Kathy and Steve. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion, and today we're sharing a technique on how you can make a paper template or pattern when you're working with round objects and Mod Podge. Now this technique works great on the small objects, but it also works great on larger objects like lampshade. Now we like to use wrapping paper to make the larger templates. We're going to be making over some bathroom accessories. We've got a soap pump, cotton ball holder, of course my favorite, the makeup organizer, the toothbrush holder, and we're gonna use dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Because these items are going to be in a high wet zone, so this is going to be the perfect formula for it. Why well, say we get started? Let's do it. I'm making the template for the toothbrush holder. You'll need two sheets of paper, tape, scissors, and a pencil. Tape the two sheets together on both sides. Fold over one corner of the paper. Line the folded edge straight up and down on the glass and tape to secure. Roll the paper around the glass Meet and match the other side of the paper to the taped paper. Fold back and tape to secure. Along the top edge, you'll scrunch the paper into the cup. Along the bottom edge, you'll scrunch the paper around the bottom. Use a pencil to sketch along the top and bottom edge. Remove the paper. On the last folded edge, you'll draw a line about a half inch from the edge. This will create the little overlap. Trim along your pencil lines. Cut along the overlap line. Make sure that you cut in between the paper layers. Fold back the overlap and tape to secure. You can see how this easily creates a template. So you can see how easy it is to make a paper template. Now this step is super important and it only takes a moment to do, but it's going to really ensure that your craft projects turn out great each time. Glass shapes like this are never straight up and down, so you can't just take a measurement and cut the paper to size. You really need to take the extra little step, make the template, and we promise yes. that your projects will turn out beautiful every single time. And save a lot of time. Yes. And then we're gonna show you how to mod podge this paper on top of our toothbrush holder using dishwasher safe formula Mod Podge. Now this is great for the bathroom or the kitchen, anywhere there's moisture or some wetness. Now you can use your template to cut out your decorative paper. Trace the template on the back of your decorative paper. Tape to secure if needed. Remove the template and cut along the pencil lines. We are using dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It dries hard without tack. Roll the bottle to mix the Mod Podge. Then you're going to clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Apply Mod Podge with a soft bristle brush to the surface and to the back of the paper. Next, you're going to position one edge of the surface, wrap around, and wiggle into position. Then apply Mod Posh as a top coat and smooth the paper with your fingers.
Allow to dry two hours and apply a second coat. Repeat one more time. Cure for 28 days. I'm super excited about how cute all the bathroom accessories turned out, and I think they're going to look adorable in my bathroom. They turned out pretty good, didn't they? Yeah, because of dishwasher safe Mod Podge. That's a mouthful, and isn't it? Dishwasher safe, dishwasher safe. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to our videos and give us a thumbs up if you like them. We'll see you next time. Bye.